Hey guys, it's Shannon. Today is another episode of Ready, Set, Shop, which is a video that I do every week, um, usually on Saturdays, that shows you some of the products that I have been experimenting with and playing around with over the previous week. And that way, if you are going out shopping over the weekend, it might give you some ideas on some products to take a look at. So I'm just going to get started and show you what I have for this week. The first product is a blush, and this is a um, one of the CoverGirl Classic Color blushes, and the color is number 510 Ice Plum. And these are kind of the retro-designed um, packages, you know, no real bells and whistles, just nice, pretty um, blushes. You get kind of more for your money. It's the, the older-fashioned, um, bigger-style blush pans which I happen to like because I like to get more for my money. And this color is a really pretty, um, you know, rosy pink shade, but still has a matte finish to it and is much less intimidating than it looks in the pan. So I think, you know, if you're somebody who's looking at colors and you're comparing the products, this is definitely one of the darker colors or maybe the darker, darkest color, I'm not really sure. But it's not nearly as intimidating, you know, on the skin. Now, don't be fooled, you can get plenty of pigmentation from it, as you can see there on my hand, but it's not a color that you need to be afraid of. Just apply it with a light hand if you want a nice light shade of pink. Um, it does blend out really nicely. Let me just blend it for you just a little bit with my finger. And you can see you can easily get a, a much lighter wash of color if you want. So just a pretty product, no fancy bells and whistles. You get exactly what you pay for. It's they're affordable and I mean you kind of it's kind of a more for your money sort of situation. So you really can't go wrong with that. Next is a product that was um, sent to me. And so the product is by Sheer Cover. This is their uh, bronzing tan minerals and this is the lip to lid highlighter. And so, you know, it's it's the sheer cover that we're all kind of familiar with and it's you know kind of the mineral style makeup comes in the little with a little shaker top and it's just a pretty sh shiny highlight color comes out nice and gold um, you could use it for bronzing purposes but it's definitely more uh, you know of a highlighter I and mean, you can see how much shine you get you get with it. It is a really pretty co color. Um, it's one that you could easily mix in with another loose powder. Uh, if you have another loose face powder that you like that's matte and you just want a little finish, you could easily mix the two together to get just kind of a nice all over glow without having too much pigmentation. Um, but this is a product that is going to be pretty as a highlighter for really any skin tone. And, you know, easily could be used under the brow bone, down the, you know, the front of the nose and that kind of thing, the the cheeks, the, the places we always want to highlight. But like I said, if you want to mix it in with a, a matte loose powder as well, or even a pressed powder, you can get your pressed powder first and just get the tiniest little bit of this. You could, you know, with a very, very light hand, get kind of an all over glow if you wanted to buff it all over the face. Just, just be careful with that because you don't want to give yourself shine or make yourself look oily or sweaty. <laughs> Next I have some lip products. Um, the first one I've shown you before, this is by Vincent Longo. It's a duo lip pencil. This was sent to me in a beauty box, uh, sent to me by Allure. And so I'll put the name of the, the beauty box uh, or the website here if, you're, if you want to go take a look at the, at the subscription service. Um, but it's basically a duo lip pencil and it's got two sides. On this side is um, a color that's lighter. It's called Lavender Light, and this side is called Grape. And it's just a, you know, a, a sharpen with a pencil sharpener style um, lip liner. Now, I, I've used these. I've used both sides, and I kind of found the lighter shade to be a little bit um, more of a dry formula. It just didn't, it, it did go on fine, but it didn't go on quite as easily as the Grape side. So, I don't really know why that is. I don't know if something to do with the, the pigments makes one a little softer than the other, but you can even see from the swatch um, how soft the grape one is because it went on, 
you know, with kind of a really tight, heavier line with no pressure at all. Um, but either one of those are, they're really pretty colors, and um, I did like it. They do have a nice matte finish, and so they're also good ones if you're going for the matte lipstick look that you could just fill your lips in with um, and just go. So you are going to want to put your lip balm on before you do that though with these, especially if you're using the lighter, the lighter shade, because your lips are going to feel a little bit dry if you haven't kind of let your lip balm totally um, soak in ahead of time. So next is a lip gloss, and I'm kind of in love with this lip gloss. This is by Mark. It's called In a Whirl Marbleized Lip Gloss, and the color that I have is Pink Souffle. And they come, oh, and they come like this. And so this is a marbleized lip gloss. It's one of those where they have two colors swirled together in the tube. And hopefully you can see how gorgeous this is. I mean, this is one of those products that you pull it out and it just makes you happy to look at it because it has that pretty sort of bubblegummy pink color, a little darker than bubblegum pink. And then it has this gorgeous, you know, red shade that has kind of a glimmer, like a gold undertone glimmer to it. And I just, just looking at this just makes me happy. <laughs> and I believe they have three different colors that you can choose from. These aren't products that are going to be around a long time. They're kind of, kind of like a seasonal product, I think. And it just has, you know, your your classic doe foot applicator. And it just comes out the prettiest pink shade. Um, you could put it on very sheer, but you can also build it up a little bit to have a nice, a nice amount of color to it. And so there you can see I've kind of mixed it in. I put it on heavier so I could kind of get that darker red color, um, more of that sort of payoff. But you can also get the lighter shade of pink, and it's just it's just a fun product. I just really like it. And it smells good too. It has sort of a um, cotton candy-ish smell, just kind of a sweet, spun sugary smell. So I really like that. Uh, next is one of the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. You guys have seen these. You've seen them a million times. Um, this is number 25 in its Sweetheart. And here's what I think about these. Um, I think if you are a, a real makeup maven and you've, you know, been around the block many times, you've been around for a while, there's nothing about these that are really that great. Um, I am wearing this one today, actually, so you can see it on my lips. Um, the thing about them is that for all of us makeup mavens, they're they're a little they're too expensive to be used for the kind of balm side of things. I mean, you just don't need to spend that kind of money on something just to make your lips feel soft or slick. Um, that's first of all, and second of all, they really are not that pigmented for the most part to really do much as on the stain side or the lipstick side. And I'm just being honest, and I know a lot of people love these, and I know that a lot of you might want to crucify me for what I'm saying, but in all reality, when you have used thousands of products over the years, um, this is something you've seen before. It's, you know, they're just okay. There's nothing that great about them. But I, I do think they are perfect for one specific category. And the, the people that I would recommend these to are going to be women who have a teenager who is, you know, 10 going on 25 kind of situation, who wants to grow up too fast, who wants to be more independent than she's ready to be, who uh, wants to dress m more grown up than she really should, who wants to wear more makeup than she really should. These are perfect for your teenager. And the reason that they're perfect is because, first of all, it's more grown-up packaging. I mean, you know, they're going to look at this and think, oh, that's a grown-up thing. It's not, it's definitely not Bonnie Bell, right? But it's still young and fun as far as um, something that a younger kid would like because it's this fun sort of crayon type tip. And it has a minty smell, so they're going to like the smell. And the reason that it's so great is because of the fact that these don't have a ton of pigmentation. So when you've got that little girl who just wants to grow up way too fast, you can feel comfortable letting her choose one or two of these. 
and know that she is not going to walk out of the house looking like a hoochie. <laughs> you can know that she's going to feel grown up and it's going to satisfy her needs to feel, you know, grown up and independent and pretty and, you know, all of that, that kind of thing. But it's going to satisfy your needs as a mom as far as keeping the pigmentation down, you know, just knowing that it's a product that she's not going to get into too much trouble with, right? And um, I do have to say that this is really honestly probably, I would say, the, if not the most pigmented, one of the most pigmented of all of the colors. So if you're worried about pigmentation, I would actually stay away from this one. It is, you know, brighter and a little more intense than the majority of them. Um, but that being said, you can you can see that you know she could definitely do much worse in buying things that are a little bit too grown up. Um, this one also does not have as much kind of shine to it as a lot of the other ones do. So that's something to keep in mind too, especially if you're shopping for yourself. That if you want one with more pigmentation, it's going to have a little bit less of the shine to it. If you want more of the shine, you're going to end up with a little less pigmentation. That's just the way they seem to come off. So, um, not the greatest product for those of us who have kind of been around forever. This one is is pretty, but it's still, you know, it is what it is. It's a little too pricey for, um, you know, that glossy balm feeling. And it's, the majority of the colors are not pigmented enough to kind of warrant the money for the color or the stain, stain power. But, a lot of people do love these, so this is just my personal opinion and like I said there is you know I think these are really great for the younger girls who want to feel a little bit more grown up and you know this seems like a more grown up product uh, for a lot of them but it's still young and fun and interesting packaging um, and I think it will satisfy mom and child's needs. Next is a mascara this is uh, a Navon mascara this is their wash off waterproof mascara in black and uh, this mascara is, you know, it's got kind of like a simple bristle brush, no bells and whistles with the packaging. The thing about this mascara is um, I have tons of clients who just love it. And I'll tell you why they love it. There's nothing fancy as far as, you know, lengthening, volumizing. They're not trying to sell you any gimmicks. They're not trying to, you know, promote uh, lashes that look like false lashes. There's nothing fancy going on. It is a nice, dark, black mascara that does just a fine job of just applying to the lashes and giving you, you know, a nice elongated lash. Nothing too crazy. But number one, it's waterproof. So it's not going to run, smear, drip, droop, you know, any of that during the day. And number two, and the reason why I have so many customers that really just love this and just won't stray from it, even if they try other, other products, they always come back to it. The reason is because it does not flake. They're, they are all contact wearers, contact lens wearers. And it does not flake into their eyes or cause them problems with things getting caught behind their contacts and really irritating their eyes. And that's why they come back to it every time because they can wear their contacts all day long, even when their contacts are just bothering them or, you know, drying out and their eyes are drying out in general. There's nothing additional happening to them because of the mascara that they're wearing. And that's why they come back to it time and time and time again. So if you just want something that's, you know, not trying to sell you any gimmicks, not trying to sell you any bells and whistles, not trying to charge you an extra $10 for fancy packaging, um, and you just want something that will stay on, will not smear, and is not going to flake off during the day, either down your face or in your eyes, then this is the product for you. And last are just a pair of earrings that I found. Uh, I had taken my niece to go school shopping. She started preschool this year, so we went to go find her something that she could wear to school and a few little fun um, school supplies type type things, even though she doesn't really need school supply checks. She's still only in preschool. Um, and I just happened to find uh, this pair of earrings for myself. And they're only $2.88. They're from Walmart. And I just thought that not only are they really pretty, they have a lot of sparkle, but they're really right on trend. 
Uh, there are a lot of places that are are doing kind of these long dangle earrings that have kind of these multiple sort of rhinestone type looks. And to be honest with you, these are actually more reflective um, and prettier and lighter, you know, as far as on the ears than 99% of the um, other ones that I've seen. And I mean, for $2.88, you really just can't go wrong. So if you want something that's kind of on trend right now and pretty and um, not that expensive and not something that you're really, I mean, these feel relatively well made. I don't have any reason to, to believe that they're necessarily going to fall apart. Um, they feel better made than something that you would find at Forever 21. But, you know, if you're just looking for something that you know is kind of trendy, you think is pretty, you could dress it down, dress it up. I mean, I think you could, these could be really elegant with your little black dress and your hair, you know, piled up in some kind of a pretty um, updo. But you could still wear these with, you know, some jeans and a nice knit top and, uh, you know, a cardigan or something and wear them out for everyday wear. So if that's something that you're looking for and you want something that's affordable, then go check your Walmart. I'm not usually a huge Walmart jewelry shopper because I think a lot of their stuff is a miss and a lot of their stuff is kind of cheaply made and that sort of thing. But these um, I actually was uh, was more impressed with than what I, I usually see um, at Walmart. So maybe go take a look at those. If uh, I also think they had I think they had a darker pair too. Like I think they had ones that had black stones in them as well same style but with black stones. So you might find some variations on this too if this isn't exactly what you're looking for you might find um, either other color options or they may make gold options I'm not really sure so worth going to take a look. So that is everything that I have for you this week uh, as always I will put links to everything that I can find access to on the internet down below and my blog and everything is down there too and, and Facebook come join me on Facebook I made a Facebook page uh, not very long ago and I'm just starting to kind of get it built up but every now and then I do post um, like discount codes and things on there and I also do try to post all of my blog list all my blog posts and all of my videos there as well so in case you're missing it I've heard a lot of people again lately saying that they're not getting um, videos in their subscription box like they're supposed to so if you're having a problem with that then that's a good way to kind of make sure that you haven't missed anything. So uh, feel free to come and join me on Facebook as I'm sort of kind of building that up. There's The link is down below. And I hope you guys had a great week and enjoy your weekend shopping. And let me know um, what kind of good things you go by this weekend. And if you make haul videos and you have a recent haul video, then attach it as a video response. Because I would like to see what you have been up to lately and the kind of things you've been picking up and you might give me some ideas on some things that I could check out as well. So I will see you next time. Bye.